The Texas Education Agency has found a serious irregularity in the way one teacher at Central Medical Magnet High School administered the tax test in the spring of last year. Dr. Timothy Shagwa revealed the information during a news conference this afternoon. He talked about a wide variety of challenges he's faced in his first year on the job. Reporter Justin Hinton joins us from the administration building with more on the state investigation and the superintendent's comments. Justin. Kelly, to say Dr. Shagwar faced challenges is an understatement. One of the biggest, the ongoing investigation of the Texas Education Agency into claims of cheating within the district. So far, it has found one instance of cheating, and that took place at Central Medical Magnet High School. It took place during a math tax test in 2012. Now, a teacher reported that a substitute teacher demonstrated how to use a calculator to solve problems that she wrote in students' test booklets and provided answers. Dr. Shagwa says the accused teacher was a substitute, and according to a TEA letter to the district, the teacher said she was providing the, quote, required oral accommodations for the test. But the investigation showed the student did not need that kind of help. Well, the state concluded the substitute provided unallowable assistance to at least one student. Dr. Shagwa says both of those teachers are no longer working in the district. And that was the only incident the TEA found. The agency isn't finished looking into claims of cheating, and Dr. Shagwa says the TEA hopes to finish before the school starts August 26th. The agency has a right to ask us anything, and they could tomorrow ask about another inquiry. Uh, but what we're going to commit to our community is every situation we're going to duly investigate uh, and make sure that we have the proper practices in place to keep kids from being identified or their campuses as being identified as a place where uh, they're being unethical. Dr. Shagwa highlighted the fact that the TA has not yet found that any widespread cheating took place in the district. He says he wouldn't tolerate any cheating, and he plans to put in place what he considers more effective test training for teachers to prevent cheating from taking place. He even discussed having teachers sign ethics statements. Now, you can read the full response from the TEA on our website, kfdm.com. But more than anything, Dr. Shagawa said he wants the focus to be on educating students and not with the lawsuits or the investigation. Um, now, I asked him what grade he felt that he deserved after finishing up his year, and he said he's done some things well, like getting the 95% of the student graduation, but he said there are some other things that he hasn't done as well, and he would like to see that 95 move up to a 100. So as far as an actual letter grade, he wouldn't give me one, but he said that that should be up to the community. Reporting live in Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News.